Butte County officials are putting the reins on the short-term rental market. Action News Now reporter Stephanie Lynn is here with the new proposed regulations. Stephanie. Debbie, hundreds of locals own and operate short-term rentals, some in violation of county codes. Now the county is taking action. It's chronic for them. It's a hard time because they're living next to something that is disturbing their sleep. Dan Breeden of the Butte County Planning Division speaks to code violations he's seen in the local short-term rental market. We have a county noise control ordinance. You know, when you live in a neighborhood, you expect everybody to maintain sort of a quiet atmosphere. The short-term rental market in our area saw growth starting in 2013. Earlier this year, the County Board of Supervisors greenlit development on an ordinance that would regulate the short-term rental market. Market. Development standards, operational standards to ensure that uh, the rental could be operated in a way that it's, it's going to be compatible with the surrounding neighborhood. We're told countywide that there are about 300 short term rental listings. A quick search on Airbnb for the city of Chico shows 46 listings. Under the new ordinance, landlords must apply for an administrative permit. They agree to the requirements, the operational standards that, that we talked about. And pay a transient occupancy tax. Those who fail to follow the operational standards will face the three strikes rule. So if neighbors do complain and those complaints are verifiable through our code enforcement division, we'll issue a strike. And if they get three strikes, their permit is revoked for 24 months before they can apply again. The public is welcome to voice their thoughts on short-term housing at the next public hearing on December 11th. Stephanie Lynn, Action News Now. Thank you, Stephanie.